What's going on, you guys? Slim here at YCS Niagara 2022. I'm here with my brother, Asian Persuasion. Already know, brother. The Jake Quincy. So guys. And we're here with? Powerful Life Games. You already Let's got go. it, bro. And here we are with one of my absolute <laughs> favorite people in this whole damn game, a fellow Michael, the one and only Albanese. Of course. And what'd you do today at uh, YCS Niagara? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I lost in top 32. <laughs> but um, I think my day was pretty sweet. You know, I'll show you guys that uh, I had a good time, you know. It was weird that they capped it, and it was still the biggest canon event, but I don't know if that was a restriction based on the convention center or whatever, but uh, yeah, whatever, I had a good time, you know, so you get, sometimes it's fun. Heck yeah. yeah. All right, um, yeah, I'll, just say, I'll just say shout-outs first. Yeah. Um, yeah, get it in uh, there. Biggest is to Dominic Couch. He, like, I, I messaged him on, like, Monday, and I was like, bro, spoon-feed me. Like, I'm, 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 like, super lost. And the deck changed, like, literally every six hours. But um, it literally, the last edit was him... So the deck list are due at 10 a.m. Friday. Is the last at six at 4 a.m. He goes, right, calls me on the phone. All right, Mike, we added this, this, and this, and I registered my deck. I'm like, all right, well, I didn't bring those cards, so I'll have to find them. But whatever, they were easy enough to find. So big shout out to him. And also, six of us played the same deck. Three of us topped. Me, Pack, Couch, and then James Armband. I think he lost late. And then uh, Alex Lolly, he lost round 10. Great. And it was a six person. I'm sorry. I forgot. I should have asked. <laughs> you it's said probably him. someone I know too. But, all right, all right. Yeah. So um, we played. Uh, it's like a tier deck, but like we played a lot of other terrible cards too. Uh, it's forty three cards. Also, it was forty one, and then we just added two droplets because we were afraid of that abyss dweller card that everyone's been talking about. Oh. So yeah. All right. Um, so we played three Sheeran, three Havanis, three Murley. And only two Rhino Heart. Obviously, like, this one's good to start with. You have nothing else. And it's level four, which is insane. But uh, because we've added, like, the punk cards, so we have, like, an extra normal summon that this was the card, this was the card that had to go to, uh, to two. Um, I never really missed the third. Like, obviously, you need at least one because Rhino Heart is insane. But, uh, yeah, so 11 tiers. All the tiers. Uh, so a big thing about me is I hate the bad dangers. <laughs> I hate the bad dangers. So we only played the good ones. Just these five. Like, they're extenders, they're dark, they filter, like, can't say enough about them. Like, obviously, like, you could play Bigfoot to, like, out floodgates, but that's honestly nev obviously never going to happen. Honestly, never going to happen. And, and um, the level four one, Mothman, if you just hit it in the mirror and your opponent just goes, like, pitch Zoliac, search Havanus, like, it's just terrible. You just can't afford it. Obviously, it's level four for Dweller, but, like, that's the only thing good about it. If you could, like, guarantee, like, a way to discard this, I would consider playing Mothman because you could always dig the level four out of your deck. But, uh, no, we just played these. I played three punks. Just enough for the combo. Um, if this card resolves, the game's probably over, except in top three two it resolved and I still lost, but that's beside the point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, obviously this, search this, this pitch, get this, make ruler, and then Halk, and I'll show you the rest of the cards. Also, cool thing about this, like, this triggers tears. So, like, a lot of times, terminal you'll start with this, and if you have Soli, you can pitch, this, pitch it with this, and it just replaces itself, which is really cool. And then, uh, some extenders, I played Destrudo. Apparently, this is Dom's favorite card, so we couldn't cut it. Oh, but uh, really? it's pretty interesting, because, like, obviously, it's a dark with a different type for Curious, but also, you can, like, look at Kit Kalos, and it becomes a two, so you could, you could like, make Gigantic with it. Jesus. And then, uh, Snow, this card's gonna be banned in two weeks, I guarantee it. I guarantee like, it. Uh, it's like they dark ruler you, you just have snow and smashers and it doesn't matter. And then Shinobi Necker was our tuner. I know I know Hoban played Plague at the South America, but um in the combo this is the dark and the combo doesn't guarantee a dark with a Xiamen. And so when you have like I'll just show you later, but when you have like how can this you just make elf and then bring back ruler and make that make Baron. Then uh then we played sprite cards, because you know, whatever. Broken. <laughs> this card's good. Um we played five. This is for Nib. Um, round one, I, every card I told Couch we were done for playing ended up being insane, by the way. So I played this literally just for Nib. Uh, and game one, round one of the tournament, this negated Nib. Oh, so immediately bro. I was like, I'm already happy with playing it. And this is Smashers. Um, these cards are weird because like against Sprite, you kind of have to make sure you like banish them with snow. Or they'll just dark you if they like, break. They could just get two guys on the field. They could take it. So in like decks with sprite, you have to like make sure you like. Also, it's cool like you're going second against decks with blue in it. You can just side it out and then just dark there. So it's like let me borrow that. Kind of like in like Dino Rabbit, where like you don't need your tour guy because you you don't need your rabbit because your tour guy gets theirs. Yeah. I assume you side a carrot then. You know we didn't. 
because we don't actually end on this because then our board is super polyable. Okay. And, and a big thing is that we really want, so because we were eradicating people, we didn't want them to be able to change Super Paul and do anything. We wanted to be completely dead. I did suggest signing Carrot, but um, I guess it just never made that. We never even tried it, honestly, but mainly the, the don't want to play into a Super Paul thing. Because I feel like that's an, even though people are playing around it, like, it's still, I think it's still in everyone's deck, so. Yeah. Alright, I think it's 27 monsters. Uh, spells. Nothing to say about this. If this resolves, it's it's, it's, it's just insane. Yeah. Chaos Ruler will be banned one day, and uh, and Halk will be banned soon. And you know, this, nothing to say. The card's insane. Uh, three of this card. Uh, it's a tier deck, so you know. But uh, the fact that this card just can pop floods is ridiculous. Yeah, it can yeah. chain block your stuff. Obviously, this card's insane. So we were worried about like Eradicator in the mirror. I didn't actually ever get Eradicator in the mirror, even though I only played one person playing it, which is Bowden. And um. So like going second in the mirror, we actually were like siding this out. Yeah. Because of which is crazy considering like it's just every card in your deck, but and then three super poly. Um I think people are obviously very wary of this card. Like it's in like Tier's the most popular deck and like the best deck, and this is out I think, and uh, this is obviously like the best defensive card, but sometimes they just like sprite can end on a board that you can't do it. But there's also times you like have this on their turn, so super poly's live, and there's some boards in the mirror that like Sometimes you just can't play. Sometimes you just can't play around it. Also, like, people aren't very good, also. It's just like, <laughs> it, it, sometimes it. this card is just game. Like, it's just game. Like, it'll probably get banned, also. It needs but, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't, needs can't respond to. It. Why does the card next? And then this we had at 4 a.m. Uh, this we were just afraid of Dweller, honestly. Um, this single handedly won me a game against Exo Sister, where he goes, like, Magnifica set three, and I summon Rhino Heart. With intention of chaining Droplet anyway, and he just goes impermanent. I'm like, oh, oh baby. see you later, negate Magnifica. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, baby. Yeah, so just two, we sided the third. I don't know, numbers, whatever. Uh, this card, man, highlighted this deck that every card could just easily be banned. This card is insane. <laughs> banned worthy. One most, card, most of your deck is banned worthy. <laughs> one card, everything. Like, I drew, and not gonna lie, day one, I drew this a lot. I drew this a lot. I drew Etelly this multiple times. Like, oh, I guess that's why I topped. GG. And then Smashers. Um, I know, like, Jesse did, like, the Jet Smashers thing at, uh, or not Jesse, uh, Bowden did. Give Jesse the credit. But uh, Bowden did at Oceanics. But um, it's just, like, you get Dark Ruler and you just have this. So, like, it's really hard to die. And against, like, Sprite hitting their normal against, or hitting Kid Close so they can't mill anymore, it's really good. Um, yeah, it stinks when you mill this because, like, you start with milling and then you, like, gigantic later. But uh, if you mill it, whatever. And if, it, and if you don't, it's just another card to uh, stop your opponent. And, uh, yep, that was some amount of spells. Let's see. Looks like 13. Sorry, we added the two. And then traps. Um, well, talk about this. This uh, this card just changed the game immediately. Like, uh, once people started playing this, I know that Jesse played it in South America, and then Bowden played it, and everyone just caught it. I really, really was afraid of this card. This is the reason, like, why Dark Ruler was, in our deck, was not in our deck. Because we really thought we were just going to get hit with this every going second in the mirror. But honestly, the mirror is just so hard to win going second anyway. Yeah. That, like, maybe you, like, keep Dark Ruler just because, like, if they eradicate you, you're probably losing anyway. Especially if you have Griffin in the middle. Because oh, yeah. Griffin is an FTK. <laughs> um, it is. Uh, yep. So, yeah, that's what basically what we did. If we eradicated them, we see their hand, and we know how to play around it. But honestly, if you have Griffin in the middle, like... You cannot beat it without spells. Yeah. It literally has to be like normal sprite, special sprite, make elf summon, and you usually have snow or smasher, so you interrupt that. Damn. And then let's do a two Soliac. Um I know some people were playing three, and this card is insane. It's really good, and it's like another one of those things where like they dark ruler you and just like set this with uh, with Kaleido Heart, and it's like two forms of interaction. And uh, when you like get hand trapped, you can just like set it with a guy or like elf back Merly and like uh, and like use it, but. Uh, yeah, it, you could easily play three. I know I know Luke Parks played three, and I definitely would not disagree with that. This card's insane. I remember a few days ago, I asked Luke when he cut down to one. And now I'm like, I cannot believe I said that. This card is so crazy. We have 43 cards. The best card is Merle. Merle's the best card. Yeah, it's just level two. It yeah. summons the best card in the extra deck. It summons like the best extra card in Yu-Gi-Oh. This one, spoiler. Spoiler, right? Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, extra deck, we had, we had all the card types. Links, fusions... Exceeds in uh, synchros. Oh, baby. For the links, it's two elf. So the combo just uses two elf. Like I could show you the combo or like explain it a little, but it just uses two elf. Also, this card is insane. Like it didn't need the targeting 
Like it didn't need to. It, it didn't, didn't need to point target. Everything about this card is ridiculous. It's like pretty much generic. Like uh, Hulk for the punks. This card, you know, been the boogeyman for a while. This card, I think it's, I think it's finally gonna go. But whatever. This card's insane. I think Alf could go before Hulk. I think this card could just Honestly, be banned. Honestly, I could wake up next Monday and this card could just be banned. And I'd be like, yeah. Thank God. That card's yeah. insane. It is. Um, and we'd play the two of them even if there weren't sprite cards in our deck. Put that in perspective. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, that's crazy. And then dark. Um, everything's just dark. Like, there's a lot of times like you'll play sprite and you'll just take their um, take their blue and like, oh, I don't need mine, I have yours. And then um, and it's a two, so you can like, reach Gandhi within sub after. But uh, yeah, no, this this card's ridiculous. I can't believe they made a dark charmer. That's mistake. Mistake. <laughs> this card, this card, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Every deck should, if they have any darks, they should play it. I really wanted to play um, the water one, but there are no waters in my deck. Oh, when, yeah. when like uh, I know Pat played it at uh, at South America, and um, it's just when I was playing regular sprite, like being able to like make your toad take their toad or hold their Ronin toad in hostage is insane. But Again, we took swap forever deck, so good it's not it. there no more. Curious, another card, man. Yep. This card yeah, can easily get banned. This is like still takes the combo. You either send uh, engine, or you could send snow, or you could send eradicator. Obviously, if you have enough to do a full board. Um, also, like if you like draw like a like a mediocre hand, you could just like end on this and this, and like this bring back Merly mill three mill three. You're gonna hit a fusion, and that's yeah. multiple forms of interruption, especially if the field spell. Um, and tooling four is a. I never made this. I might have made it once just for. Just, I actually made it once just to attack for game against an M pen. I'm like, this is. A, he's like, how much is that? I'm like, a million. Yeah. <laughs> um, Over But yeah, this effect's obviously insane. Like, uh, against trap decks, you just make it and they can't play. And then uh, going second into, like, boards, you can, like, if you, like, negate their board, um, you can make it. Also, it, it combos with another card on our side. I'll show you in a second. But uh, yeah, it's just huge. Like, it's a win condition. Pretty sure the one time I summoned it, it was wrong, but whatever. And then Griffin. That card. This is the other. These two friends get along real well. <laughs> uh, just get any card in your deck. There's times you get Eradicator. There's times you get Soliac. My round ten opponent, I actually got Droplet because it was like I had like a stranglehold on the game. Um, yeah, no, this card. Um, it's ridiculous. Any one of these cards should probably go. Like being able to search any card in your deck is probably not a good idea, but whatever. And two synchros, Chaos Ruler. You know, for the punks, you know it. It mills five cards for no reason. You add back blue or whatever, fusion with the guys you send, and then it comes back with Shinobi and makes Baron. Another card that you feel pretty safe because you have Elf Baron. You start with, when you have, start with Xiamen, you have like Elf Baron before you like pretty much do anything else. So like they can't even have like Imperm Nib. It has to be like Gamma Nib. Right. Then you have Carrots. So sometimes that's not even enough anyway. And when Exceed, we played Gigantic. Uh, we didn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, this card's insane, obviously. Like, if you brick, there were times I got, like, double hand trapped and just made this blue, blue, jet, elf, set smashers or whatever. And it's just so good. Um, although, shout out to my top 32 opponent. This game was crazy. Uh, I lose the roll. He destroys me game one. Game two, I have, like, a decent board. I couldn't fuse. I, like, missed up a few. And then he goes, like, normal summon. And I'm, like, smashers. And he goes, like, chain droplet. Like, discard two more jet. And then he goes, last card... What's that card called? It's a... Swap. Change of Heart. Oh, oh my last god. Last card, Change of Heart Gigantic. I was like, Jeez. oh my god, that was crazy. But uh, yeah, we deserved it. That was insane. Jesus, Change of Heart. <laughs> 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 it was crazy. And then uh, five fusions. Uh, uh, one kid close. You could play two, but I never had it banished. Or uh, Actually, I did have it banished or stuck in grave before, but I think it was only once that I would have actually summoned another. Um... Kaleido Heart, this card is crazy. It's just interaction by itself. Um, you summon it on their turn, or you float it on your turn and like with the trap to play around. And there's times you like attack, send it, attack it. Yeah, it's it's insane. Like, and the fact that it's like can't be fusioned with as a condition, not an effect, is like crazy. It yeah. can't even go like Dark Ruler Super Poly with it. Yeah. Then other fusions, Mud Dragon, I don't know, it's four, it makes Dweller. Uh, it helps make curious by making itself dark. It's good. Obviously, you just need it. There's times you know you just need the fusions. And this card, aka the only the reason why Sprite is not as good in North America as it is in Japan, um, you make this to make curious almost every time. Like this summons the first or second fusion you summon every game, and obviously it's an insane super poly target. Craziest TCG exclusive ever. Yeah, I know. What insane, the hell, bro? <laughs> um, and then Dragster Pelio. This card's obviously like not amazing to summon because of super poly because it's a dark and a fusion. So like it's gonna get super poly a lot, 
But uh, when you eradicated them, you know, you know, you know, they don't have You're it. Safe. So, <laughs> yeah. and it's a, and, and it itself is eradicated targets. So like, there's some mentors summon it for that. But we really, really were trying to make our end board not super polyable in their draw phase because obviously you have eradicator. You want them. You don't want them to be like player priority. Eradicate or super poly take your eradicator target. Like, and, yeah, that's, that again, be... that's why that's insane. Like, you just. Uh, but mainly our eradicator target was this. So I'll show you the combo after. It's pretty sweet. All right, yeah, 15 extra deck cards. And our side, um, I know Bowden sided like Droll, but I think, or at Oceanic he sided Droll, but I think that card got really, and we were like, considering cherries, but I think those cards both got really, really bad because of Brandon and High Spirits gained popularity. Like, if you have Droll and they just go draw face High Spirits, like, you just feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, like, that's if you, bad. if once in the tournament you draw Droll and your opponent goes draw face High Spirits, that card, like, you just, it's awful. awful. Yeah. So, we settled on, uh, three gammon driver um, It's like generic and like you can side it like it's already in our deck for combo for tier, but you can side it against sprite Because um, like it just one for ones with their guys like it's fine Obviously like if they have red you use that gigantic they negate it and then you just can never use it the rest of the turn But it's good enough also going second. We actually side out the punk cards but we can keep the the way the siding pattern works. We keep it and you tell you to and you can just get you this get for that level two. It's really funny how that happens <laughs> And then uh, free nib. Uh, this card is just ridiculous. Like this deck does not put up negates. So like your opponent can do whatever. They can go like curious dump, spell canceler. Like bring it back with Dugaris. They have like a fusion. They have whatever. And none of those negate this. So you know. But honestly, this deck is so insane. I played a mirror and I drew both and I still lost. Damn. But uh, that just shows how terrible Yu-Gi-Oh is. But yeah, this card's insane. Obviously unplayable against Sprite. But um. It's like really good versus tier. Every time I play versus tier, I'm always afraid that instead of Griffin, they're gonna make Appaloosa, and I'm like, look, oh looking like, oh god, oh whoops. god, whoops. But uh, yeah, no, this, this card is insane. And then um, Hanker Tops. We just wanted a card for Sprite, and also it's like decent against everything. Like you're never gonna be upset if you draw this card going second. It's at one two. Weird, which is crazy. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is terrible. That's all I have to say. Yu-Gi-Oh is <laughs> terrible. Just say fortunately, time. Time fortunately, in the round. I never actually. <laughs> went first game three with not much time left. I either two of my opponents or went second game three, or just like, there was a bunch of time left and I just won the game naturally, fortunately. You go so bad. I, I think they, I don't know what the fix is. That's the problem though. Like, the problem with turns is it takes so long. Yeah. Like if you go zero, one, two, three, you could literally play another 25 minutes. True. Just like how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Like that's the a, that's a worst part about it. So I, I, it needs to be changed, but I really don't have an answer for it. Maybe it's you make the rounds shorter and then add time, but yeah, again, I'm not going to pretend yeah. that I have a perfect idea to solve the problem. And then we sided Dweller. Um, we kind of just game one blinded our combo. Also, we didn't have danger, so like you make this a little less, but obviously you could just still make it with a Kaleido Heart and, um, and Mud Dragon. But um, yeah, we never, we just did our combo and we figured game one, our combo would always be enough because we have like Griffin in the middle and they have no spells, so whatever. But yeah, this Dweller. This card could also just be banned, maybe. There's literally very few cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that do this, and this is generic to rank four, so it's searchable. All right. So, Dom would not shut up about this card. <laughs> like, um, like, all week. And to be truthful, I only actually drew it once, and it was terrible. But he was swearing about it. So I was like, Dom plays more Yu-Gi-Oh than me. I'll play it. So, the idea is, like, against Sprite, you could literally just, like, normal a guy and, like... No, like battle phase, use this. You hit their elf, and then their their um, their smashers is dead. And smashers is honestly like one of the best cards against you. Maybe they have like another set, so it turns that off. So main phase two, you just have to deal deal just with Toad. And if your deck can't deal with Toad with like four or five other cards, your deck's just terrible. But uh, yeah, I drew this twice in duplicate. I drew it in duplicates round nine, and it was just bad because my hand was terrible. But if my hand was good, it would have been broken. Maybe this. He did have three sets, so. Yeah, I was going against Exo Sister. I played just one of those. And then the third drop, like, you know, that Abyss Dweller card, kind of annoying, not a fan. <laughs> and then Duster, you know, just, you just feel safe when it's in your deck, even though you're playing a mill deck, like, sometimes you mill it, but I don't think I activated this tournament. Like, I don't side it for Sprite or Tear, honestly, just, like, against, like, I, saw, I played it was, like, an Exo Sister and, like, a uh, Two Flunder. I would, like, side it for them. Yeah. All right. That's my deck. Um, Shoutouts again. Big shout-out to Couch. He's the man. He's still in the tournament. Hopefully he wins. Um, shout-out to my boy Jeremy I came with. He lent me... This is the second time he's lent me these danger cards, <laughs> and I top both times, so nice. we're doing something right. You're, you're and, gonna uh, have to buy those. And uh, Luke Parks gave me the uh, the ladybug, and um, and Dallas, 
My boy Dallas gave me the droplets because like I didn't know I was playing this card, so I didn't bring it. Um, but yeah, overall, great tournament. Um, it really is unfortunate that 8x2s got cut, which is kind of crazy. I think that the VIPs is just what uh, really cuts off an X2. But yeah, so say what I played, I guess. In Swiss, I played against three tier, three sprite, an Exo Sister, a Despia, and two Flunder. I lost to Flunder in time because they have a quick play engine card that gains them life. That was fun. <laughs> and then um, and then I lost to Bowden because he also likes to gain life. <laughs> so yeah, my life was my, my life points were not reduced to zero in the final game until top thirty two. Damn. But uh, but yeah, like a bunch of different decks. I got Dimension Shifter a lot. Not a fan of that card. <laughs> Probably my least favorite card ever. But um I think if I had any more shout outs, I missed anyone. Uh, it's my first YC stop in five years, so. Let's go. Good. Good. <laughs> good. I was like, oh my god, I'm so bad. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. I shout out to all my friends that came with Team Jobber, my sponsor. They added me, Boom. even though I'm terrible. But I'm glad I could. Uh, we had five of us in top today, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Pa Paolo, Mitchell, Luke, Bowden, and Calvin Chow. That's six. Yes. Oh my god, yeah. six were insane. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, shout out to all you guys. Of course, of um, course. Yep, that's it. All right. is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you still did amazing. You still did your thing. We're proud of you as always. Thank you for the deck profile. Congrats again on the top. Thank you.